everybody it's me it's been a while because of the holidays and everything I've been pretty busy I did have a little bit of a seizure so that was kind of scary it was at the Lego convention poor kids are probably like I'm all like I'm dying ah! oh it was bad but no it was okay because I survived so that's all that matters but I just was really embarrassed to have a seizure like that in front of everybody. It was scary, but I'm okay now. And what was weird about that seizure is I actually never lost consciousness. I was aware the whole time of what was happening. So that was kind of crazy. So maybe that's a sign my seizures are starting to be a little less than they used to be. So that's a good sign. Um, I've still been taking the oil one gram at my rear and one orally throughout the day and I've also been taking some essential oils now I've been taking frankincense and then for my headaches I've been taking lots of turmeric and curcumin which has been helping a lot too so I'm just starting to eat a lot healthier now with the new year and no more screwing around I'm so mad at myself for that it's like okay you eat candy you get a headache you probably shouldn't do that anymore but yeah and it makes you fat what's well, a boy <laughs> so that is my reason why I'm not eating junk anymore so I'll juice probably like a juice cleanse for like three days straight with just juice probably twice a month now I was doing that before and I was really feeling way better afterwards um what else I hope everyone out there is doing good as far as your tumors or cancers or whatever you guys are all dealing with. I know it's a pain in the butt. I wanted to show you guys, look how long my hair is. It's all the way past my boobs. I can't believe it. So <laughs> I guess you guys don't really care about that, but I was really excited about that. Um, other than that, just trying to take all my vitamins and no more screwing around, no more seizures. I mean, I guess I should be happy that every time I haven't, like I didn't have to, I didn't pee when I had my seizure. Thank God, I, that was what I was most worried about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they just seem to not be as like hardcore as they used to be. So maybe that's a good sign. And I think they're gonna do an MRI for me in May. So. We'll see what's going on then. I'm a little nervous because I haven't had a scan in a really long time. And you guys are all so supportive about everything, but part of me, ignorance is bliss for me. And part of me doesn't want to know because I'm feeling so good now. I know sometimes when you hear the bad news, that kind of can set you back even worse. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I know that you guys really need to know. So that's mostly why I'm doing it. But I hope that everything's good. I think my vision's getting more better, if that's a word, because it's like my glasses are all blurry again. So I think I'm due for an eye exam, see what's going on there. And yeah, other than that, I've been doing really good. Just trying to stay positive. And I had a rough holiday season, just feeling kind of crappy and stuff. So I'm ready to start feeling better again. But for the most part, I'm feeling good now. So my problem, I guess, that I'm dealing with right now is that nothing tastes good to me. All of the foods that I used to love taste like horrible. And they were kind of bad foods for me to begin with. So maybe that's a sign my body saying, no, it's not good for you. Stop eating that crap. <laughs> so I just got to find the things that are good for you, which why would I know what those are? I've never eaten healthy before in my life. <laughs> So anyways, I hope that this keeps you guys up and happy. I know I always do like a couple months in between my videos. I don't want people to think I died or anything. You can never kill me. I will live forever. No. <laughs> I just like to prove the doctor's wrong all the time. So that's probably one of the big reasons that keeps me up and alive and doing so good. And that's another thing I wanna to say to you guys, your attitude has a lot to do with it. I've always been positive, even when I get the really bad news, you gotta think, okay, it's sad, cry it, let it go, and know that there's something you can do. There has to be, because we didn't have cancer before, 
what were we doing that was wrong to make us get this to begin with? So my big point is just trying to figure out what this is. So anyways, I love you all and I'll try to do more videos. I always say that, but I mean, how much more could I really say? I'm kind of doing all of the same stuff. So I just wanted to give you an update about everything I'm doing and I've been taking my vitamins. My husband's been being really rough with me about my vitamins. He's like, here's your dessert. And he gives me a handful of vitamins the other night. <laughs> Which I appreciative, appreciative for that because that's the kind of dessert I need is my vitamins. <laughs> so anyways, love you guys. And if you have any ideas as to why I'm feeling so weird as far as my tasting and stuff goes, I'd love to hear about it. All right, guys, love you. Stay out of trouble. Bye.